Welcome all. Welcome to this new video where we are going to understand what is Stubbin and Stubborn branch connections. As we all know, Stubbin and Stubborn both are the methods of making a fabricated branch connection from a pipe. Right? We use this in many of the scenarios when we are planning a tapping from the headers. But at the same time, we consider these as a weak connections. Okay. So we only prefer such connections for low pressure and temperature applications. So let us see what we are going to cover in this part. First of all, we'll try to understand what is stubbing and stubborn connections. Then we'll try to understand when we are going to use the stubbing and when we are going to use the stubborn connections. We'll look into various differences between both these branch connections. Then we'll try to understand few of the uh, interesting facts which connection is better and why and we'll try to quantify the strengths of each type of joint. So let us start with this session and we'll first look into the stubbin and stubborn definitions. Now let us try to understand what is stubbin connection. Stubbin branch is fabricated by making a large hole in a header pipe. This is our header pipe and we are planning to take a branch from this yes. header line. So first, we are taking a large hole out of this header. Then the outer diameter, the opening which is there in the header is always more than the branch connection which is required because we are going to enter this branch inside this opening. Okay, in the case of stubbin fit up branch connection, the edge of the branch pipe shares the same level of inner dia of the header size. So these kind of connections are prepared. Then both the stubbin branch pipe and the run pipe are welded together to form a connection. So this is how we are making this kind of stubbin connections. Now let us try to understand when we go for such connections. When the branch size, branch size diameter and the run pipe diameter has a difference of more than one size then we generally go for stubbing type of connections. For example, if we have a run pipe that has a diameter of 12 inch and the branch size has a diameter of 8 inch, which is more than one size difference. Okay, this is 12 inch, this is 8 inch. So there is a difference more than one size. Then we go for such kind of stubbing connections. Now let us see what are stubborn connections. In stubborn, the pipe connection is done by making a hole equal to the inside diameter of the branch. So this is our header size, header line. We are trying to make a branch connection from this pipe. If we are going for stubborn connection, then the hole required inside the header pipe is equal to the inside diameter of the branch connection. Okay, and this branch does not go inside the hole but stays on the outer surface of the run pipe and the stubborn pipe fit up is done. For stubborn the stub extends only to the outside of the main pipe. Okay, It is not entering inside uh, this pipe. This is only up to the outer surface of the header pipe. It looks like the branch is seated onto the header pipe. Okay, So this kind of arrangement is done. Now when we are going for stubborn connections. There are two scenarios. One, when the size of the branch is equal to the header size. Second, when the branch which we are trying to take out of this header is one size less than the header size. So these two scenarios, whenever there are this kind of scenarios, we go for stubborn connections. Now let us take an example. Suppose we are having a header pipe of 12 inch and we want to take a 12 inch uh, branch out of it, then we can go for stubborn type of connections. Or if the size of this branch is 10 inch, which is not more than one size less, then we can go for stubborn kind of fabrication. So this joint will look like this. Let us try to understand what are the various differences between stubborn and stubborn branch connections. Okay, so first of all, the main and topmost difference is stubbing connections, stubbing branch connections are applicable when the branch pipe size has difference more than one size. Okay.
okay at the same time stubborn is when the size difference between header and branch is not less than one size difference so this is first and topmost uh, difference stubborn connections are applicable when the header to branch size are either equal or has one size difference so this is first and topmost uh, uh, criteria to select stubborn or stubborn when the size is more than one size uh, there is a difference of more than one size difference then we go for stubborn if it is equal or one size difference then we go for stubborn second one is branch to header welding will be what welded type okay we know this is a branch we prepare this end connection like this edge then the edge preparation is for header which will be matching to this thing so this is how this welding is done at the same time the branch to header pipe will be of fillet weld type here only the fillet is there where bevel end is there for branch connection and it will be touching on the outer surface of the header and this weld will be filled so we call it fillet weld type here we call it butt weld type now the stubbin connections although we know stubbin and stubborn both are for uh, both are not used for high pressure uh, applications but if we compare these two the stubbin can handle comparatively higher pressure as compared to stubborn connections so this is the third difference here then branch edge this is a branch edge which is matching with the inside diameter of the header here the branch head is matching with the outside diameter of the pipe from where we are taking the tapping so this is again one of the difference it is going inside the header so it is uh, touching the inner diameter of the header pipe here we are not entering inside the header pipe we are only touching the outer edge of the pipe where we are taking a branch now at the same time when we know this is going inside and there is a bevel and we are going welding here at the same time we are doing only fillet weld here so we can say the strength of welding is more in stubbin as compared to stubborn connections that is why we can say the stubbin connection can take higher pressure as compared to stubborn connections so these are the top five differences between stubbin and stubborn branch connections now let us try to understand why stubbin connections are more stronger as compared to stubborn connections we know we are taking a tapping out of this header okay whether it is a smaller tapping or a larger tapping now we are going ahead with stubbin connection when the size difference between header and branch is more than one size difference that means we are going for smaller tappings for stubbin connections that means we are going to drill a hole here which is smaller as compared to stubborn connections right when we are making a hole inside the header pipe we are making it weak right at the same time when we are making a bigger hole we are making the header pipe more weaker as compared to stubbing we are taking a tapping from both in both the scenarios but here we are taking a smaller tappings as compared to the stubborn connections that means we are making the whole arrangement more weaker in stubborn as compared to stubborn so that makes one of the basis this is more weaker as compared to stubborn okay now the second point here is the welding which we are doing here here we are going for uh, but weld type here we are going for fillet weld type now fillet here we are filling only up to this point right in this case we are filling the header branch is going inside the header and there is a bevel end and we are going to fill this weld as a butt weld type so butt welds are more stronger as compared to the fillet type welds okay so that means here we were uh, making less weaker as compared to this and we are making it more stronger by doing the butt weld type so this is how we can say the stubbin connections are more stronger as compared to stubborn branch connections now let us try to quantify the fact that stubbin connections are more stronger as compared to stubborn connections so let us try to use some uh, 
trigonometric uh, fundamentals to understand how we can compare the strength of welds in both the scenarios okay for example in case of stubborn connections okay this is the surface this is the surface and we are doing the welding at this point now let us consider this is the triangle and it is there along the length of this weld so there will be length associated with this weld around the connection so let us say uh, for this triangle we have the length of weld the size of weld is s okay the leg or size we can say and this is the throat this is the throat thickness the weld thickness that is t now length is the length of the weld along the surface now let us try to implement few of the trigonometric formulas here and try to calculate the area first of all with the basic trigonometric we can say the length of this throat that is t we can convert it in the form of length of this weld the which we call leg leg of weld so s is always equal to t by 0.707 once we get this length in the form of uh, this or we can say once we get the t value in the form of weld uh, size we can say if we look at this plane only and we look into inside the length we will be getting a rectangle here with length t uh, with width t and length will be l so you can say this t into l will be the area of this rectangle so that is what we are doing here t in the form of s into l and into the allowable tensile strength which will give us the value of pressure which can be bared by this joint so this is for stubborn connection now the same thing if we talk about the stubborn connection here okay and same way as we have calculated the rectangle for this length here the length will be this one so t will be there it is very simple here no trigonometric is required this is straight way this t is there and the length of the weld so t into l okay and once we multiply it with the liable we will get the value of p right so this way we can quantify the pressure bearing values for stubbing and stub up stub on connections so this was all about stubbing and stub on connections their definitions when we use it what are the various differences and we looked into various interesting facts related to the connection strength and we try to quantify the same so don't forget uh, to look into such fundamentals on epcland.com there are so many free courses and premium courses which are available there is a course which is complete course on piping engineering where there are 200 plus lectures are there all these lectures are recorded session you can get the access once you enroll and once you get the access this access will be there for lifetime right so you don't have to uh, re enroll you can get access anywhere anytime n number of time so this is going to be very good uh, chance to learn refresh and record the piping fundamentals so i hope i'm hoping that you are enjoying uh, all these lectures and it is adding value to your knowledge so stay stay tuned and keep learning